Welcome to On This Day in Cleveland Sports History, January 4th, 1981. I'm wearing black. We're going to make this one as quick as possible because, frankly, I still don't like talking about it. Today is the anniversary of Red Right 88. The Browns played the Raiders in the playoffs. It was on the tundra. Don Cockroft missed a field goal, missed another one when Phil McDonald couldn't hold the... Paul McDonald, not Phil, Paul McDonald couldn't hold the snap. And so the Browns were behind. They were behind 14 to 12. Brian Sapp got the ball. He drove them down the field. It was an amazing drive. They got down to the Raiders' 13-yard line. To give a little perspective here, this was at the height of the Cardiac Kids era. The Browns had played 12 close games in the 1980-81 season, and they won nine of them in the last, pulling them out in the last second. So I was certain this was just going to be another one of those pulling them out in the last second. Unfortunately, the play call was red right 88. Sipe was to throw the ball to Dave Logan or into Lake Erie. They were at the open end of the stadium, so he could have. Unfortunately, he threw it to Ozzie Newsom. Ozzie Newsom was not standing in Lake Erie. He was standing in the end zone. And Mike Davis, the defensive back for the Oakland Raiders, not my partner on, on this day in Ohio sports history, intercepted the ball. There is a YouTube video that takes you all the way up to that last play and then stops. Highly recommend that. It's kind of like Old Yeller without the sad ending. Red Right 88 on this day in Cleveland sports history, January 4th. 1981.